Hi there, Virgo, Virgo Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. This is your July 2020 Love Monthly Forecast Reading with me, Chrissy, from In The Stars by Chrissy.com. Now, for this month, I'm doing things a little bit differently, wherein I'm just picking up three tarot cards and, you know, not a nine card spread of Lenormand just to see the energy in place within the month. I'm focusing on the energy because july is actually pretty much of an important month so i kind of feel that it's very important that we know exactly the energy that we are dealing with so that we know how we can navigate the month what we have to know what we have to be warned about if there is any th any warnings out there and uh, any opportunities that might come in place so it's not going to be that detailed or you know information pack kind of um, reading that I usually do within the monthlies but this is going to give us a general gist um, for you know for each and every sign of you for the month of July so that is actually the theme to that so um, yeah without any further ado let's get on with the reading now the first thing that i've noticed here is that you know we do have the mice card at the center card of the reading so this can make you know give us a feeling we're in you know some form of nervousness or something is being heightened in our emotions and we do have the nine of cups over there and the moon card giving us a feeling that you know this can be very emotional pack month for a lot of virgo we do are having the nine of cups at this at the first card of the reading give us a giving us a feeling we're in you know there could be something that is making us happy or some form of wishes fulfilled or at least that is what you want to happen that is what you want to to occur i kind of feel that you are going to get what you want within the month of july but there is a hint of of it's like you're getting what you want but it's not exactly making you completely happy it's as if it's as if you know there is still some form of struggle into that maybe you cannot forget something that someone has done to you especially that we do have the cross and the mice over here so this can be easily um saying uh, maybe you do have a relationship or a connection with someone that is you know making you quite feeling depressed you know maybe you don't know what to do with that situation it could also be that you know this person is someone who is full of themselves maybe they think so highly of themselves they think that you love them so much you're gonna do everything <laughs> that they want or it, it gets a feeling we're in you know there is something that is not quite just in the relationship or in the situation so you might need to be on guard with that uh you need to be you know um protect yourself or n not allow someone to take advantage over you i do see though that in terms of communication you will see some form of improvement so if you feel that the other person or the person that you are in concern with is not communicating with you effectively or not in a way that you want i kind of feel that there is going to be some form of improvement the key here actually is really more about you being more positive about things you know and to learn how to forget things and to forgive people because we do have the forgiveness card here and believing in yourself and maybe believing in the relationship i kind of feel that you know trust is going to be big here maybe you don't trust someone or you have trust issues now this is going to be you know very different for each and every one of you virgos out there because um i kind of feel that depending on the situations that you are dealing with we can say that maybe it's time for you to to learn how to trust people but, but at the same time you also need to be aware if you if you should actually be trusting someone or not i kind of feel that with with the mice here and the fox over here um and a lot of you know elements of confusion that we're seeing here yes we are seeing some form of progress and a change of circumstances an improvement in the air and maybe second chances can also be seen here i just kind of feel that you know there is something sketchy 
going on or maybe this is something that you are feeling and you know I kind of feel that the only way for you to get the bottom of this is to clearly maybe make an ultimatum or to communicate with someone and really find things out on where you stand where this relationship is going where this situation is actually going if it's actually going somewhere and if you're not trusting someone i kind of feel that you might need to communicate with that person and to you know make a uh, a decision whether you should be trusting them or not we do have the fox over here in the garden so there could be a connection that you are dealing with that might not be very trustworthy and you know it's going to be up to you what to do with that it could be that it's going to be a very tricky alignment this can also be a situation wherein you know maybe someone is in your field um you know i don't know maybe there is a reason why they are around you maybe they're taking advantage over you i just kind of feel that you need to be be very careful because demise is also a situation wherein they tend to get ahead of themselves you know so maybe this is about you making decisions making conclusions that they are not really sure about so there is you know a very nervous kind of energy going on for a lot of very good people so i would say that you need to maybe consult with someone talk to someone or maybe enter a situation wherein you need to settle down first and really think about things um, meditate and really talk to yourself maybe or talk to someone else on what to do with a certain situation or if this is the right thing to do or not so the, the last thing that you need to eat, that you should be doing is to be impulsive that is the worst thing that you can do because i kind of feel that you can just you know flip and um um regret things later on those kinds of things we do see here that you know i kind of feel that any improvements that is going to be happening within the month of july it is going to be improvement in its own way but it's not an improvement or it's not something that's going to be making you very happy in fact it might be making you feeling conflicted or you might tell yourself that this is not enough but I kind of feel that this is the time that you know if there is progress in the air that is going to be happening or happening for you you need to be happy about it and you need to you need to accept that you know this is um the progress that the, the best that I can do in the situation or the best that the other person can do in the situation it cannot be something much more so I kind of feel that there is something to do with that this is also the time wherein promises are going to be very important wherein promises needs to be upheld you know if someone has promised you something it's going to be very important to you that they actually pull through and you know acknowledge that promise and do something about it we do have here um mars in the sign of sagittarius in the first house so this is going to be making you very um very jumpy very active assertive also and you know um i would say that to practice <laughs> practice more of your patience or at least you know find an outlet because you might be you know jumping into things saying something because of your own explosive emotions and you know try to exercise or have some form of physical outlet to let off some steam and then later on make a decision on what to do about the situation i think that is really the most important thing for a lot of virgos out there yes there is going to be progress movement and opportunities in the air but i kind of feel that you know um, maybe you're still you're still saying that it's not enough but you need to be satisfied on what is being given to you at this time and you know instead of thinking of all of the negative things or thinking of what is not enough i kind of feel that you should be happy of any positive circumstances that can actually occur for this month because there is something to be happy about 
and you know it's going to be much better than before so um yeah um let's see if there is something else that i miss out i think that is about it um be very careful not to self-sabotage yourself and the relationship but you're definitely um, moving forward and you're moving past the stagnant phase of your life it's time for you to get real <laughs> but at the same time um, there's a lot of warnings in the air and it's very important to you know keep that emotions intact and you know it's okay to be expressive it's okay to express what you feel especially if you cannot hold on anymore you cannot um you cannot uh stand by and do nothing but i kind of feel that you also should be taking a look on what you should really be saying you know um Telling what you feel is quite different from being just rude and belittling and you know do you know emotionally attacking another person. That is like a different story. So just learn how to balance your own energies and your own emotions. It's going to be very good for you guys. Another um, information I can give here is that you know if someone comes around in your life right now maybe and you're thinking if we should be trusting them or not this is the time we're in I think you should hold off you know in making final decisions because the energies that we are picking up here is very very much unstable so and let but of course you can still you know try things out if you feel that you know it's okay to trust the person but i kind of feel that if it's we're dealing with important things important contracts for example for work and career purposes or money involvement i kind of feel that these are the things that you need to hold off you know impo very important factors in your life um don't make any drastic decisions because i kind of feel that these are the kind of things that you might later regret so um yeah again take a look on your your instincts what your intuition is also telling you because most importantly that is going to lead you to the truth you also already know whether you can trust someone or not you know that kind of thing so um yeah this is my reading for you guys virgo i hope that this reading will give you insight and clarity to your situation i do hope that it will help you one way or another even though it's just a short and concise reading but i hope that it goes straight to the point on what I want to share to every one of you guys so um, again thank you for watching and tuning in with me if you do want a personal reading you can do that through my website in the stars by and I shall see you guys again next month